Hey YouTube, Bao Song Addict here, and I just got a interesting two knives in the mail today. They're actually Spider Co's, and uh, I guess you'll just have to wait and see what they are. I can tell you they are fixed blades. So here I'll get this box unboxed, whatever that means. Now this is a really awkward way for me to open this, but hopefully I can do it. I have to actually go around the tripod to get to the other side of this thing. This is not a very easy way to open stuff. Um, if you wanted to skip to when this is all done being unboxed, I'll post a link to that right now. <laughs> Going around again. All right, that should be good. I hope. How the hell do I open this thing? I'm also not very good at unboxing stuff. All right, that's how you do it, yeah. Oh, all right, so you saw a little glimpse of them right there. There's the two boxes. They're actually the same knife. I'm gonna open up one of them for you right now. All right, so yeah, they're the same knife. Pretty cool little knife here. Let me just adjust this. Okay, so here we go. Let's get a, a little bit of dramatic opening now. Oh wow, these these boxes, I've never had a spiderco box that you don't just like slide off. I actually gotta open in there. I'll show you what the knife is right here. Mule Team L Max. So it's the L Max Mule. So now you guys know what it is. Just the plain old mule, but it's pretty cool steel. I don't know if you guys like the look of a mule, but here it is. So it comes in this little baggie. Right here. I'll go ahead and take it out. And there it is. I'm actually looking at this knife for the first time through the viewfinder. So hopefully I'll make some scales to put on that. I just uh I'll be getting some tools to make stuff with. It's really dirty actually. If you can see it, let's just focus. Feel a dirt on it? It's really dirty. But no big deal. So there you go, Spiderco L Max on the other side, Golden Colorado. The the handle feels really lubed up. I think that's where all this like dirt stuff's from is from the lube that they put on it. For some reason I was under the impression that there were uh, that there was jimping on it. I think I'll put some jimping on it too. I like jimping for the most part. Some knives don't really need it, but it's a pretty functional thing. I'm not like nothing fancy where I need jimping on everything that I buy. But cool knife, huh? So yeah, there it is. There's a little Spyderco trademark hole. Probably use like these three holes to put pins in or something. I don't really know how that stuff works, but I'm gonna get it figured out. I'll probably put some G10 scales on it. So for now, I'll just put it back in the box. But uh there you guys go, there's the knife. Pretty cool little knife if you ask me. And uh, the other box is just the same knife, so you don't really need to see that. But there's the unboxing, and hope you have a nice day.